Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, guys, we will show you what a hydrolocked engine looks like, also also known as uh, water seized engine, guys. Uh, whoever owned that car before us, guys, we bought it from a car auction with mechanical problem, but they actually, guys, drove through high water. What that means? They had too much water on the road. They drove through that water. Uh, the water got in the intake, and from there, guys, it was sucked okay by the vacuum created uh, from the engine guys inside the engine and we will show you what happened as you can see we took the whole engine apart guys and every car we get at the shop we'll be making at least 200 videos guys our mission is to save you as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video let's show you now what are the uh, uh what's the damage on that engine and what it looks like now what is happening now guys, what is a hydrolocked engine? It means guys that fluid got in the cylinder, in the combustion chamber. Okay, this here, okay, is your piston. This is your piston guys, it goes in the cylinder. Okay, you can see you have the other ones there as well. Okay, two more and one right there. On four cylinder engine, uh, they go by sets. On the outside, uh, outside ones move together and the insides move together usually. Now that piston guys okay it, it's traveling up and down the furthest position that it goes to down okay is this one right here you can check it out guys okay how much down it is then it comes to all the way to the top that's known as tdc top dead center point now what happens guys okay when it comes to tdc it compresses all that air and a little bit of gas and when it's compressed enough the spark ignites guys and combustion happens guys in the combustion chamber and moves the piston down now if guys that air is replaced by fluid fluid does not compress like air fluid is practically impossible to compress so much guys and as a result something somewhere will will break and what usually breaks guys usually you're going to snap a connecting rod okay this is guys our connecting rod right here snapped in three different places guys okay all the way down there i'm trying to focus a little bit it's a little bit dark down there okay this is the connecting rod piece okay check it out completely guys shot and why is that because the piston couldn't travel more up couldn't compress the water and as a result the connecting rod broke what else could break when that connecting rod breaks sometimes and most often will damage your engine block ours actually didn't get damaged that's unbelievable i cannot believe it's not but it's a heavy duty block it looks like it's built very well so the block didn't get damaged but you can experience damaging uh, connecting rod rod bearings uh, you can damage also guys main bearings you can damage your head gasket and if you need to re replace connecting rod guys you have to remove the head anyways and if you do not fix the problem in the next day or so guys you start working on it all that water is going to corrode everything on the inside of your engine check out those pistons the car set for a few weeks uh, excuse me those valves the car set for a few weeks check the valves out they're completely shot guys i mean all that rust you either have to replace the valves rebuild the head or get a new head you cannot just install it the way it is so never ever guys drive your vehicle through high water because those are the consequences and you might end up needing a brand new engine which will be cheaper than rebuilding this one actually so thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time